Newsflash, we're in a seller's market. Some people think that because we're in a seller's market, you can just put your home on the market and you're going to get top dollar. That is a misconception. And so today we're going to dive into some specific strategies to help you squeeze every dollar you can out of the sale of your home and find that sweet spot where the supply and the demand meet in order for you to get top dollar for your home, even in this market. Hey y'all, I'm Mark Lemons, a broker and team leader here in San Antonio, Texas. I help teach other realtors and team leaders how to grow and scale their business by creating systems and processes to automate their business and to leverage their sphere of influence to grow their business and take it to the next level. If you're a homeowner looking to sell, you want to get the best possible price. But being in a seller's market doesn't guarantee that you will get top dollar. In fact, if you don't price your home strategically, then you could end up selling for a lot less than it's actually worth. We're going to go over five tips that will help you get top dollar for your home. The first is price your home competitively. You're like, hey, but the neighbor down the street sold for this much per square foot. Well, yours is much larger. You're not going to get the same dollar per square foot. So the most crucial time for your home is the first 10 days on the market. So you have to price it competitively from day one. If you want, if, you're, if you price your home too high, buyers are not going to be interested because it's out of their price range. If you, by the time you lower your price, buyers are going to have found another home because they're going to think, hey, that one's out of my reach. Your home will sit longer on the market and new prospective buyers are going to assume something's wrong with it. This will drastically reduce the interest in your home and make it difficult to sell. However, if you price your home correctly from the start, you're more likely to sell faster and at a better price. Not only will this result in you getting a better price for your home and walking away with more money, it'll save you a lot of time in the long run. The longer the home sits on the market, the more work you and your agent are likely to do to get it sold. Ultimately, you may have to reduce that price much further than you would if you had priced it right from the get-go. So, price it correctly. But this does beg the question, how do you price your home competitively? Well, I'm glad you asked. Use a strategic price point. People search in increments of five or $10,000. The most objective price comes from your comparative market analysis, but you want to think about where is a buyer going to be looking? So when you're getting your CMA, get your real estate agent to do that um, in-depth research and on not only your house, the neighborhood, but also the surrounding area. Real estate agents can estimate the value of your home by evaluating similar, similar ones that sold recently in your area. CMAs are prepared using comparables that have sold within the last six to nine months. The sooner the better, preferably the last three months. And I like, I like to include at least five comparables um, and examine each one in depth to discover how it differs from the home being listed. Looking at the finishes, looking at the size, looking at the yard, looking at any amenities and features that that home has. Location, lot size, square footage, age and condition, number of bedrooms, bathrooms, special features, date of sale, terms of financing, any contingencies or seller concessions that were given, and of course that finish is important. So your real estate agent can help you make a, uh, a recommendation or help make a recommendation for you on pricing your home competitively using that CMA. But also another strategy is to consider value range marketing. Now this works best in an off market situation where the, where the home will be listed in a range. So for example, you may say, Hey, this home is priced between 250 dollars and $275,000. Instead of giving a flat price of $275,000, this strategy paves the way for negotiation and allows to mar the market to ultimately price the home. So if somebody is seeing it and they're saying, wow, this is, this is a great home and it's just in my range of 250, they may offer, you end up with multiple offers. The demand then pushes up the price. You get other people that are like clamoring to get this house because you did the VRM strategy. So sellers think that if they provide a range, they're only going to get offers at the lowest possible price, but that's not actually the case. If the buyer sees the value, they're going to want to move quickly and they're going to want to submit the best offer they possibly can because lowball offers these days are risky for the buyer because they, they run the risk of losing the property in a multiple offer situation. They're getting a counter offer that is much higher from the seller. 
You're not obligated as a seller to accept an offer just because it's in a range. That's important to keep in mind because this misconception says that, hey, if you put it, if you put this range out there, then any offer within that range must be accepted. And while the seller typically promises to respond in writing to any offer submitted within the range, the seller is in no way obligated to accept those offers. So again, your real estate agent is the best resource to determine whether or not that range marketing is a good strategy for you to use. In our MLS system, again, this is best used with a private listing or off-market listing where you will actually put a range. Another strategy I've seen is to not actually put a price at all and let people come in and make offers on it. Another way to get top dollar on your home is by using a pre-appraisal or a pre-inspection prior to listing. Typically, this is ordered um, you know, typically appraisal is ordered by the lender once the home's already under contract. But as an owner, you can do that prior to putting your home on the market. Get it inspected, get it appraised. That way you'll have more knowledge and knowledge is power. Therefore, you can price it strategically and you can also fix any issues that you have and address those, disclose them and show people, hey, this home is in tip top shape and therefore it will increase the demand for your house. It will give people the confidence um, on the list price as well. And so they may come in even stronger. So these pre-appraisals and pre-inspections provide that knowledge to you as a seller to, in order to make an informed decision to figure out your pricing strategy. It'll also help you in the negotiating. So the next thing to look at is hire an experienced listing agent. I happen to be one. If you're in the area, call me. But in case you haven't noticed, many of these strategies require having a great real estate agent in your corner. This is, this is my final tip because you need to have an experienced listing agent. You don't sell homes day in and day out and your agent hopefully does. If they don't, you've got the wrong agent. Call me. But make sure you're working with somebody that does this day in and day out, has a proven track record of, help, of selling homes quickly and competitively and for top dollar. It's important that your listing agent is familiar not only with the city, but also the area. The neighborhood is important as well. Ensure that they understand the local real estate market, the housing needs, market conditions, and key selling points. So representing sellers is much different than representing buyers. Good real estate agents do both, but selling requires a marketing strategy that buying does not. Make sure your listing agent has a clear plan to market your home. Let's review the information we just covered to get top dollar on your house. So in summary, price your home competitively from day one. You can use strategic price points, those five and $10,000 increments. Consider the value range marketing, using a range to market your home, or even not listing a price at all. And then of course those Inspections and appraisals prior to listing are a great way to get some more knowledge. And again, knowledge is power. And then of course, lastly, hire a great agent. I'm confident that if you do these things, you will sell your home for top dollar. If you liked this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel right now. Click on that subscribe button below. And of course, giving us that good old thumbs up is always appreciated. It puts this video in front of others who might enjoy and benefit from it as well. And if you're interested in partnering with me at eXp Realty, I'd love for you to head over to my real estate, marklemonsgroup.com. Click on the link to partner with me. You'll get a free guide. And uh, if you choose to partner with me, you're going to get great training and benefits that people outside of my team don't get. I'm passionate about helping agents win, and I'm never too busy for you. When you partner with me, you're also going to get access to our team's current and future paid courses, as well as having access to our private Facebook page community called The Dream Team. A lot of top-notch producers sharing their secrets. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll catch you guys next time.